Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. But for today, we're looking at um, differentiation of trigonometric terms or trigonometric um, functions that includes higher parts. Example, let's say I have y being equal to tan to power 3, then exponential 2 x. Okay, let's say I have this and I'm going to differentiate this. What do I do? Case 1, I will say let u be equal to the term in the bracket. Term in the bracket says exponential 2x. If I differentiate u with respect to x, I will get that du all over dx is equal to, this gives you 2 exponential 2x. That means y is now equal to tan cube. We just call all of this u, that's exponential 2x, which should be equal to u. So in place of this, I will now put u. But this now is not in its simplest form. So hence, I will use another alphabet to represent this. So I will say let v be equal to tan u. If I differentiate v with respect to u, I will get dv over du. Differentiate tan, it gives you sec squared, of course u. So it means that y is now equal to y is tan cube u. That means tan u to power 3. Alright, but we just said tan u is v. So in place of tan u, it's so that's tan u to power 3. This is the same thing as tan cube u, and the same thing. But we just said that tan u should be v. So y is now equal to v cube. So if y is equal to v cube, differentiate y with respect to v, I will have that dy over dv is equal to, this gives you 3v squared. Alright, so using chain rule, using chain rule, I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du. du. Um, okay, so my my um, my differential functions are this one. I have this as one. I have the the v over du. This is two, and I have this one here. This is three. All right, so it becomes the y over the v, not the u. So the y over the v times next of the v over the u. So the v over the u times next of the u over the x. So the u all over yes so i have this all right next up i will impute values the y over the v is this 3v squared that's 3v squared times the u over the v the u dv is sec squared u times next up the u over the x is 2 exponential 2x if i multiply this now 3 take out the constants first 3 times 2 here yeah, gives you 6. Next up, uh, you can see 6, um, 3 times it gives you 6. You can now say v squared does this. Pick up this one here, sec squared u, then this one here, exponential 2x. So I have this. So, but v, as we said, is equal to tan u. v is tan u. So this is now equal to 6 v squared becomes tan u all squared. Tan u all squared is written as tan squared u. So it becomes v squared. Next up, sec squared u. And then exponential 2x. But we said that u is equal to what there? Exponential 2x. From this point here, that's u. So hence, it means that dy over dx is equal to 6 tan squared u u is this in bracket exponential 2x tan squared u next up sec squared u to become sec squared u is this exponential 2x and then um, exponential 2x so exponential 2x so this becomes the solution to this problem example 2 Let's say I'm giving y being equal to cos to the power 4 um, exponential 3x minus 2x. I'm giving this. 
I'm asked to find the y by the x here. What do I do? So case one, still the concept of the chain rule, I will say let u be equal to the term in the brackets, exponential 3x minus 2x. Differentiate u with respect to x, I will have that du over dx is equal to, this gives you 3 exponential 3x minus, if I differentiate 2x, I will get 2. So I have this. Hence, I will have that y is now equal to cos to the power 4 and then this. This value we said is equal to u. So it becomes cos to the power 4. All of this is now u here. But this one here is not um, very simple. So I'll use another alphabet to represent this. So let's v be equal to cos u. All right. Differentiate v and u. I'll have that dv all over du is equal to, if I differentiate cos u, I have minus sine u. So I'm left with y being equal to, this is cos u to power 4, but cos u is equal to v. Hence, y is equal to v to the power 4. Alright? So cos u to the power 4, cos u is v, so it becomes v to the power 4, and that's y. If I differentiate y and v, I have that dy all over dv is equal to 4v to the power 3. 4v to the power 3. Alright, so I have this. Um, next up, I'll now use chain rule. So using chain rule, I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dv times dv all over dx. So this is now equal to, this is dy over dv, du. So using chain rule, I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over dv, dy over dv times this one here, dv all over du times this one here, du all over dx. So I have this. All right. dy over dv, as you have here, is 4v cube comes 4v cube times dv over du is equal to minus sine u times du over dx is this um, 3 exponential 3x minus 2. That's du over dx, this one here. Alright, if I multiply everything here, 4 and this one, so it's now equal to 4, this now, and then this 3 exponential 3x minus 2. Next up, v cubed. Next up, sine u. But don't forget that sine u here has a minus. So the minus will come this way. becomes minus 4 and this. Alright. So, um, record the following. You record that v is equal to cos u. v is cos u. So this becomes equal to the minus here. Minus 4 into 3 exponential 3x minus 2 into v cubed. V is cos u, so it becomes cos u to the power 3, also written as cos to the power 3 u. The same thing, this, and then sine u, sine u. But what's u? We said u is equal to exponential 3x minus 2x, that's u. So, which is equal to, this now gives you uh, minus 4 into 3 exponential 3x minus 2 into cos cube u that's cos cube u is this exponential 3x minus 2x next up sine u becomes sine into u u is this exponential 3x minus 2x so this is the solution to that problem let's take a third example Let's say y is equal to sec exponential, let's say tan x for instance, 
I'm asked to differentiate this. What do I do? So case one lets you be equal to the term in brackets exponential time x. Alright. If I want to differentiate this, we'll have that du all over dx is equal to we said for exponential differentiation, the shortcut is simply to differentiate the index. If I differentiate tan x, I get sex squared x. So it gives me sex squared x. And then repeat this exponential tan x. So here's your shortcut to getting this. Alright, next up, I will now have that y is equal to sec sec of this. We we'll just said exponential tan x is equal to u to become sec u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have that dy over du is equal to sec u tan u from uh, the differentiation. So hence, using product rule, product using so hence using chain rule. So using chain rule. I have that dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. So this is now equal to dy du is sec u times u times du over dx is equal to sec squared sec squared x exponential tan x. So I have this. Um, I have this. But, but we said u is equal to this exponential tan x. So hence, I will have that dy over dx is equal to substitute the value of u here as exponential tan x. It becomes set into u. u is exponential tan x into tan u becomes tan u is exponential tan x. Next up, sec squared x. So sec squared x exponential tan x. All right, so this becomes the result after differentiation. All right, so let's take one, let's take one last example. Let's say I'm given Okay, but before that, let's consider something. Let's say I'm given to differentiate y being equal to sine 2x, for instance. Okay, if I'm to work on this, I'll say let u be equal to this 2x such that the u over the x is equal to u. Also, y is now equal to sine 2x, we said it's u. So y is equal to sine u such that dy over du is equal to cos u. From here, I will have that using chain rule, dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. This is equal to dy over du is cos u times du over dx is 2 from here. So this is now equal to 2 cos u. But u is 2x. So this is now equal to 2 cos u. u is said is 2x. So I have this. So here's the concept. If I'm given y. So here's the concept. If I'm given y being equal to sine 2x, the shortcut is simply differentiate this. I'll have that dy over dx. If I differentiate 2x, it gives you 2. If I differentiate sine, it gives you cos. Repeat this, it gives you 2x. That's not like a shortcut to get your answer. Similarly, if I have that y is equal to cos, let's say 2x, I'll have that dy over dx is equal to, if I differentiate 2x, I'll get 2. Differentiate cos, you have minus sine, so times minus sine, then repeat this, 2x, such that um, if I multiply this, it's equal to 2 times minus sine 2 and gives you minus 2 sine 2x. You get this. Alright, one last example. Let's say y is equal to tan, let's say 
3x squared. From this now, I'll have that dy over dx is now equal to, if I differentiate three x squared, it gives you six x. If I differentiate tan, it gives you six squared. Then I repeat this, um, three x squared. So this is more like a shortcut that we have to know and we use in solving problems. So let's now see how we can employ that shortcut to solving problems. For instance, let's say we are given y being equal to cos to the power four sine two x. In this case now, I would say, let u be equal to what I have here, sine 2x. Differentiate u with respect to x, I have that du over dx is equal to, this gives you 2 cos 2x. I have this. Alright, that's using the shortcut now. I said differentiate 2x, it gives you 2. Differentiate sine, it gives you cos. Repeat this one here, and I have this. Alright, so that means that y is now equal to cos to the power 4. We just said sine 2x should be u. So cos to the power 4 u. So next up now, this, this term here is not very simplified. So I will say let v be equal to what I have here. That's um, cos u. If I differentiate v with respect to u, I will have that dv all over u is equal to differentiate cos gives you minus cosec minus cosec squared u you have this so finally i now have that y is equal to cos u to power 4 or cos to power 4 u so cos u we said is v so it becomes v cos u to power 4 so v to power 4 such that if i differentiate this i will have that dy all over dv is equal to 4v to power 3 if I work on this now, I will have that using chain rule, using chain rule, I will have that dy all over dx is equal to dy over dv, dy all over dv times dv over du, dv all over du times du over dx, du all over dx. If I substitute value, the y over the v here is equal to 4 v to the power 3 times the v over the u is minus cosec square u times the u over the x is 2 cos 2x. If I multiply this, this is now equal to, you can see minus here, 4 times 2 gives you 8, so it gives you minus 8, minus 4 times 2 gives you 8. Bringing these terms, you have cos 2x. Next up, I have v cube. That's v cube and then cos squared u. That gives you cos squared u. But we said v is equal to um, cos u. So cos u is v. So this is now equal to minus 8 cos 2x. V is cos u. It gives you, I have V cubed. So it becomes cos cubed u. That's V cubed. Then cos squared u. We also said that u, that's trying to express u in terms of x. We said u is equal to sine 2x. Hence, my final answer is equal to this. Um, I have that dy over dx is equal to minus 8 cos 2x cos cube u u is sine 2x and then cos squared u so cos squared u is sine 2x I'm having sine 2x so this becomes the final answer upon differentiation